Yo yo what's good YouTube this is Dangiri and today I got a new video for you guys basically what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be doing an ARP scan to define what is on our network and also we're going to do an nmap service scan an RPC scan right let's get to it so first of all all I really need you to do is just basically open up your Kali Linux machine on your virtual box and also your Metasploitable 3 Windows machine go into your local host uh, service uh, on your web browser and just uh, which is this link and then choose the port 8585 just make sure it's open also as well do 9200 and that is it in terms of uh, the web server all right let's minimize this all right let's go back to our Kali machine we're going to go into root Kali clear we're going to cd in the home and the desktop again all right and then the nmap results all right so first of all we need to define what's on the network and to do that you can use nmap and you can use a lot of other tools however i chose to use this tool it's pretty simple to actually define what's on the network with it it's called an arp scan all right and what it's going to do is basically it's going to show us the uh, IPs of the computers and the devices that are on the network but let's first of all check our local IP that we showed you guys how to did to get on the previous video but I'm gonna do it really quickly right now so here it is it's the 10th device on the network so let's just copy and paste this but we're just gonna remove the zero and I'm gonna explain to you why so 192.168.1.1 and port from 1 to 24 so it's going to be attrition from 1 to 24 not from 10 to, from 10 to 24 so that's why basically we're going to be using this so let's enter so yeah as you can see right now it's giving me the router and here is the virtual machine uh, uh, local host link or ip i'm sorry and this is my other computer which has its mac address changed that's why it's showing that it's unknown all right so let's clear and basically we just got the local host IP which as because as you saw already was the computer before that so all we really need to do right now is just do an nmap service scan to find out what services are running on each port so in our previous scan we used the double verb both and T4 which stands for timetable 4 stands for appropriate timing for nmap general scanning also, double word voice is going to give you more information. This is the option that is most important to us today. This is the service scan. So it's going to show us what service is running on that port. All right. Again, we also use this uh, port 1265535 and all the ports on the network. And finally, the O, all right, which stands for the operating system section. Uh, one last thing we are just gonna save that to a result let's uh, nmap uh, service and results.txt for example i'm not gonna run this command because i already did this before it takes a little bit of time i don't want to waste your time so it's going to probably show you a result like this this is how the old scan is supposed to look like and we're going to be looking for two ports that are commonly used for web dApp vulnerabilities on damn vulnerable web application which is going to be port 9200 and here it is it is open and the service it's using is the swap wsp also for the 8585 uh, it's also open and second of all it also shows that it's using an apache server and it's using the http protocol service right so that is pretty cool information uh, i'm just going to do one last thing before we end the video and get to the next video you can actually do the same scan again but just for the ports that you want you don't have to do all of uh, the other options if you just want to check if a port is open or not and then just add in the ip so that's going to show us that it is uh, right now it is closed uh, maybe there there's an issue or something like what, what has happened
All right, let's try port. Uh, uh, oh yeah, we actually chose the wrong port. I'm sorry. So eight five eight five, and that's gonna give us the open port. As well as if we do this for the other ports, like I said, which is nine thousand two hundred. And map, and then the service scan, double verboses, then the 9200192.168.1.9. This is also going to show us the service for these ports. You can do it. Uh, yeah, I heard it, so I, I just chose the wrong port. I apologize. Uh, it was 8585, and it is open using the service HTTP. Again, also, it's using an Oracle virtual box and the Apache server. Uh, for port 9200, it just takes a little bit of a minute or two because uh, it's kind of like a different vulnerability than the other one and it uses a different port. Uh, so that is pretty much it, you guys. So actually, mm -hmm. I'll see you guys in the next video, which we are going to be basically gathering more information about the WAPDAP uh, vulnerability. We're going to try to find out if it actually is enabled. Uh, right now we just have these uh, ports and they are open on and that the probability that there is actually a WAMP server opened on the machine. So that is the information we got today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to be testing for WebDAP. And, all right, this was Angry with you and peace, you guys.